Bahrain's crown prince has ordered all military from the streets in an effort to end violent unrest, which has killed at least six people. The latest move comes after the Shiite opposition rejected calls for dialogue until troops were withdrawn. Yesterday, an anti-government protest ended in panic when security forces opened fire on demonstrators in the capital, Manama. <laughs> More than 60 people are reported to have been injured in the clashes, many suffering gunshot wounds to the head and upper body. A young woman spoke to Euronews from a hospital where the wounded are being treated, first in Arabic, then English. We're in the hospital, we're away from the place where the clashes are happening, but we can hear the clashes, the explosions. The ground, the whole ground is red. I can't see the ground, the ground color. It's totally red. Friday's fresh violence came on the same day funerals were held for four people killed when police broke up a protest camp on Thursday. Later, around a thousand angry protesters gathered outside the hospital. Along with the dead, hundreds have been wounded in the violent unrest.